This morning is about the footwork, a lot of movement. So like yesterday, I will give you some theoretical information to better understand what the movement in tennis is about. Then after we go on tennis practice, just to see the key elements, if we can observe the key elements with these two boys. And after some exercise, physical exercise to improve the movement. So first thing, if you take a look at the study about the movement, more than 70% of the movement at high level are lateral. Okay? More than 70%. The rest of the time, you see that you go forward. So forward is direction to the net. Sometimes it's going backward. But the linear motion is around 70. So for me, what is more important is lateral component. And also, sorry, guys, stop. I just put this mark for you to see. Between the center and the first, it's two and a half meter. And this one is four and a half. You go. Just to see that 80% of the time, more than 80%, the player move only on a distance that are more or less than that. Okay. 10% between <laughs> this and this. And after there is less than 3%, there is more than these directions or running for the drop shot. So most important to have in keep in mind that the tennis player has to react to make something around two meters. The other thing that the studies and the science told us is that you don't have time in tennis to reach high velocity. Okay, like for the sprinter, you don't have time. So the most important thing is to be able to accelerate and to decelerate. 90% of the time, it's acceleration, deceleration. Okay? Start, go. Start, stop, and go. All the, the, the rest is not useful for tennis players. So the goal for the physical coach, but also for the tennis coach, is to see how the player manage this first step to go to the ball, but also how they manage the way they stop to hit the ball and the way they manage to return to the center of the court. So we just take a look now at these pictures. You see all the pictures? You have the technical elements of the movement and you have the physical components that you need to improve to be better in this component. So when you start the split step, you will see that the split step is not the same as 30 years ago. We need to react on a single leg. So you need this, what we call single leg reactive strength, to move on this first step by reacting on outside foot. Then you have to go, so it's a matter of lower body strength, to produce some force on first two steps. Then to stop, it's eccentric strength. When you hit the balls, it's a combination of stabilizations, strong stabilizations, power rotation, and you do the same when you recover. So we just take a look at this guy. Stop. I want you to play slightly in this zone, slightly in this zone, the same for you, OK? And you play with, please, mark the split step, and you go. It's not points. OK, you cooperate, but I want you to move laterally just for uh, the coaches and for me, just to observe the way you split, the way you move to the ball. So for you coaches, only one minute to observe. So maybe this part, you take a look at this player and this one and this player. You just take a look at the split step. And my question is very simple. When, when they start to jump regarding the opponent stroke and how they land to the ground? OK, you, hey guy, you prefer to play points? You engage and you play points? If you prefer. Yeah? So you engage and you play the points. OK?
One zero. First to ten points. So you continue to observe the split step. Good one. Eight. One all. Go. We go to three points. It's easy. Okay, it's good. Stop. So for this one, for this guy, when does he start to move up regarding the shot? Okay. At the contact points, before, after, just before? Right. Most of the time for me, I heard the sound and I saw him going up, okay? How he lands on the ground? With both feet? <laughs> Most of the time he's both feet. And for him? <laughs> it's exactly the same. That is, you will see that the timing is not, for me, it's not good. And the way they land to react for the first step is not good. Continue to play and just rallies, okay? So what is the split step at high level? There is no more split step the way I learned it. That is, the opponent contact the ball, so you jump, you land, then you rotate, then you go. Now, you have to start the split step during the acceleration phase in order to be in the air at the contact points to take the information, and when you go down, you have the information where to go. So if you know that in the air I have to go here, I land on the outside foot, and I make my first step to the ball. The same thing on the opposite way, I go to this way. Okay, so you gain, it's a gain of time and distance. So maybe for you, you will come to the net. We will play a little game, okay? Come to the net. On the surf box, it's just a matter for you to understand on which foot you have to land depending on the stroke. So for you, when the ball goes to the right, okay, I want you to say <laughs> foreign, or what do you want, but you have to land on the front, on, on the left foot, okay? And then you go, you hit the stroke. If the balls go to the backhand side, I want you to land on the right, okay? Two feet, this one to go here, or this one, this one to go here, or this one to go here. The same for you, okay? I let you 10, 11, just to see if you take the information correctly. Mark, stop, stop, sorry. You have to mark, okay? Throw the ball here, you have to... Throw me the ball here. You have to land, and after you go, okay? You have to, to jump, land, and after you go. You have to mark the difference between land and go. Go on this side, land, and go, okay? Feel the difference. Land and go. Okay? I know that <laughs> it's not comfortable for the first time, but just think up, I'm on one leg, and then I can go. Okay, stop. In order to make it easier for you, he hit the ball, so you know where the ball is going, then you make the split and you go. Yeah? So wait for the contact. Yeah. Wait. Take the information. Yeah. So try now to, to release a little more with space. On this way, on this way, the same for you. Try to go a little more on this space. Yeah. OK, just find a way. Feel that you land on the outside foot, and then you go. Up, up, okay. Okay, good one. Now with the timing, you will say up, up. Up, up is up when I land, up when I make my first steps, okay. Up, up. If it's up, up, it's not good. Up, 
up, up, up. Just to see if the first step is beginners. Up, up, okay. Up, up, okay. Okay, up, up, okay. Okay. Good one. Okay, stop. You do exactly the same now on the baseline. And for you, coaches, you will see that most of the shots, we say it's on this zone. If they do the speed step correctly from these positions, by doing this, you are half the position. That is, you can just adjust to hit an open. You can adjust to make a neutral, but you are in position. If you do like that and that, the ball is already on your, on your court. So be ready to be a little more active on the first step, okay, to it, and it's always the same thing. Okay, just to try to do it. Land and push. Land and push to the side. So play slightly to the side, yeah. Yeah, slightly to the side. So on the other slide, you can see at high level, so Federer, Djokovic, to hit the ball on this position on the court, they use only four contact points. Four contacts with the ground, so three steps. To go here, I land with my outside, it's first contact, two, three, then four, and I hit the ball. Okay. In our generation, we ask the, the players to make a lot of little steps, just it doesn't exist anymore, we don't have time. It's better or no? Okay, stop. Have a drink. Just a question, simple question. When you run, the body, you accelerate the body when you are in the air or when you go on the ground? It's not a trap. The body is accelerated in the air or when the, the foot contacts the ground? In the air. Every time you are in the air, the body is accelerated. Every time you touch the ground, you stop to gain energy, okay? So if you make a more step, every time you stop, you stop. It's why now at high level, you see that it's big step, okay? It's not bonds, but it's big steps. So they use a lot the ground to push and to have more distance and only one step. So for you guys, We stay on the movement to the ball. Put your racket. I will just show you an exercise from this association. Because landing on the outside foot and go, it's not an easy way. When you are used to, you take the stick with you. The stick, yeah, and the ball. Give me the ball, OK. So put the stick here. So the first exercise. I use what we call in a basket the blind pass. Be a ball to make a pass without looking at the, at the partner. It's exactly the same. In tennis, when you make the split step, you have to push laterally by rotating the shoulders, but the eyes are always in front, OK? It couldn't be like that. So you will throw me the medicine ball, the, the balls. It's a game. You jump in the air. And when you land, you make a strike to me, and you throw the ball. And then you run, that is made. And you run with the ball until this. OK? Go. Yeah. That's it, but with the ball. I want you to make a pass. Yeah, a good thing. You. And Chen, two or three more times. Hey, no. I want you to look at the net. 
Say again. That's what is difficult. No? In your run, when you run in tennis, you never add the head in the same because you don't see the ball. So when you run, you already dissociate the head with the shoulder and sometimes the hips. So sometimes the hips are like that, the shoulder like that, and the head like that. Okay? So I want you to run till this distance without looking at me. Good one. You. So it's an easy way for the kids to learn how to, yeah, good one. You engage on the first step, yeah, you engage. So land, slide, good one. Yeah, another one, you take the stick, and you do exactly the same with the stick. You have to land and to push the stick here, and to run and stop in this position. So you have to make first step, second step, and then the third one, you stop. Oh, yeah. Take the, take the stick here in front of you. Just to dissociate the shoulders, the head, and the direction of the stroke. One, two, no. On the, on the outside, you mean? Just to see for me how you push really on your... Okay. Yeah. Take another one. Don't confound. It's not a bouncing. It's just a slide. Okay. Imagine you slide. So you push this one and you slide. Okay. Sliding and then you go. So you push with this one, but you slide. You don't jump with the knee high, just sliding. Yeah. Ah, another one. Okay, do the same. And after you will do the same on the backhand side. Ooh, you, 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 you. Okay, the first step, you are here. Okay, the second one, you are here, and then you just have to balance. One, two, th three, another one. Make it. Up, up, up. No. Hey, hey. It's normal because there is a lot of people, okay? But when you play the final at uh, US Open and Wimbledon, there is a lot of people, okay? So don't take care of the people, just take care of you. When you go with this, you have to load. The shoulder are like that. And when you are loading, then you go and you turn. Pop, pop, pop. No. What you do? What you do is that you go. And you stop. I want you to go first, one, two. You load, and from this positioning, you rotate. Up, up, up. Yeah, it's better. Another one. <laughs> Powerful. Pop, up, up, pop. OK, on the other side. You see, it takes time. But you have first to do it like that in a closed situation before opening the game. Go. Push, uh, slide more, slide more to the side. Land and slide. No, it's not a slide. You do that, that, it's a skating movement, sliding. You see this, this way, you go. It's not this and this, it's just sliding. Yeah, and go, for you. Sometimes the players have some trouble to the right or to the left. You just have to see the balance. Yeah. Sprint. Pop up. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Okay. Pop up, pop up, pop, pop up. Yeah. Another one. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Okay, super. So now we'll go to another point. Sai, so you will try to make your forehand on this zone, okay? 
So you have to push a little more in order to break. One step, two step, three steps, okay? And then you hit. The way you will recover, it's important. When you play a forehand like that, what do you do with the legs? Yeah, you hit the ball, and then you find the positions to recover. So you will do exactly the same. You will hit the ball on these positions by doing this way. You finish on this one, and then after, you go. Same thing. We go fast. Slide. Hey. <laughs> Remember, I want you your third step here. Third. Okay. One, two, and the right foot here. So push the ground. Push. Yeah. Okay, another one. Only three steps to make this distance. Push. Ah, it's a good one. Go. Contact go. Yeah. <laughs> hit the ball. Imagine you hit the ball with the stick. Here, on the back end. Imagine here you <laughs> hit the ball. I like that. Okay. Another one. Another one. Yeah. For you. And after we'll bank it with the ball. Yeah. Faster. Okay, take your racket. And now we just try to transfer this with the real situation when you hit the ball. So I will <laughs> I will fade you some balls, first on the forehand, after on the backhand, and we finish by incertitude. So the first thing I want, you hit the ball cross court. Okay, so for the forehand side, I want the ball to bounce on the courts with the technical intentions to make the opponents deep. Okay, so it's not a cross court. You have to go on this way with the second bounce directly on the fence. Okay, ready? So the first one, you have to hit the ball from this zone. So be ready to push hard, OK? Why, why do you think I do that? It's important for the coach. I make this movement, OK? If I do only that, there is no information. Because I do that, it's like the preparation phase of the stroke. And when I go forward, he start the split step. So if we want to time the split step correctly, you have to keep in mind that you make the same backswing and then throw. OK, ready? Backswing, jump, and throw. OK, you. Just see if we are able to make it. You remember what is the zone? How do you think that you can hit the ball deep like that by leaning the body like that at the contact point? When you go to this ball, you have to hit with a straight body in order to make the impulsions in the air. Okay, so take time. We go to push high and then after we recover. But the first thing here is to move fast, to be able to go in the air, to put the ball very deep. Ready? Push and push in the air. Good one for you. Another one. Push in the air. Ready? Your time. You have time, you go. No? So it, it's interesting because it's the same problem than yesterday. If you do only that, the balls can travel from this position. So you do exactly the same, but I want you to go with your elbow. You stay with your elbow far away. Show me without the ball. 
go. And uh, yeah, and you stay with the elbow in this position. Go, we see. So split and go. Okay, so a little better. Same thing on the back end. You remember? Good one for you. I push the ground. Good one, you. Yeah, you have time. No problem for me. Okay. I have to create the situation for you to make an open stance. Good one. Okay. So you are good enough now. I don't know where I saw the ball. Okay. So maybe it could be from this, from that. But the same thing for you, you have to play deep. Okay. Remember, three steps maximum. Good one. Yeah, last one for you. Last one for you. Okay, for me, you did a good job. Pause the racket. And now we are going to go to the other phase, that is the recovering phase. On the recovering phase, when the player is in this way, they have to accelerate to recover. Okay? And the most important one is to ma master what we call the crossover step to engage the first step of recovery before going in a shuffle step to facing the net. Most of the time, the players, they lose time here to do that and then running or make shuffle step from this. So the way you go on this positioning to make the first step and then the second one and go to the net, it's important. So to do that, you will make, sorry, the cones. Come with me. Simple exercise to see how you use your legs to push the ground so you will facing the judge. Okay, so the goal is to make now, to work on the change of direction, okay? Starting and change of direction. You will make a run. I don't want to show you how to do, just for me to observe first. You have to run from this first cone to the third one, then stop, going to the second one. Moving to the fourth, third. Every time you move two cones, and you came back on one, as fast as possible, okay? Okay, for you. You are too strong. Same thing. Okay. Same thing for you. You have to fix your eyes on the coaches. Okay. You are not allowed to move the head on the side. So you have to run always with the eyes facing the net. And the same thing with the shoulder facing the net. Go. It's more difficult.
OK. Okay, so how, do you, how many steps do you think you do to go from this cone to this one? Uh, three or four. Maybe three or four. Uh, we work on this positioning to make two, three steps to move from here. This, and at this smaller distance, you make more steps. So what you can do to be sure to facing the net and to move fast, to recover fast, and so on. What kind of steps you can use? Uh, crossover, you use running. You are like that, you run. Then you have to turn, to go, to turn. So you lose time. So you're right. Now the goal for you, we work on mechanic. From this first cone, I want you to go on the second one only with one crossover step. One crossover, that is that I push with this one to have my first step here, then go pushing to be here, and then I split. I go on this one only with one shuffle step. And then I go up, 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 up. Just try to do this. If you are good enough, I will increase the distance. I push. No, no. Don't be like that. You have to be balanced. So take a look at what I do. I do that. Puff. I stay in my cone. I go. Stay in the cone. Every time you make the split step, to be sure to be balanced. So go. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Go. Good one. Go. Very good. Do it. Stay on this side because you will we'll do it on the other side. So for you, normally, stop, stop. Don't take a look on this side. Put the stick with you. Go. Push. No, no. When you are here, it's shuffle because the distance is very short. OK? Shuffle step. Distance is large. I push on crossover. Short. I push on short. Go. Short. And push. Push. Push on. OK, good one. You do it on the other side. But now with a stick to be sure that for you, where you are always leaning, by doing the stick like that, I want the coaches and me to see always the stick staying horizontal. OK, so I move with my legs, but the stick doesn't go from this way, from this way, or from this way. OK, so all is about the hips, hips, hips. OK, a lot of work on the hips and our foot, of course, on the ground with the ankles. Push, pop up, push. Yeah, it's a good one. No, 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 sorry. I say push. Push the ground, push. Stop and go, push. Push hard, good one. Yeah, it's a good one, good work for you. Ah, sorry, I see the stick moving. Yeah, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, shuffle, yeah, pop up, pop up, shuffle, okay, do it another time on the other way, fast as possible, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, okay, very good. Pop up. Yeah. Pop up. Good one. OK. So on these seconds, you just repeat for the brain and for the muscles. It's good for you? The ancient man. I go to hit my backhand here. 
I recover first here, then I make my split step, okay, or my shuffles to be ready, even to go another way from here, even to go away from here. So now, <laughs> you will stay from here, and you look at me, and I will show you the direction you have to go. Yeah, with a stick, so you start from this one, <laughs> okay? So sure, for the first, you have to go. But when you are, when you start to make your split step, I will show you this side, so the opposite side you have to make this one, or maybe this one, okay? So on my signal, you go, or you come back. Okay, good for you. So just take the information and moving. So for the. F okay, it's not the same component. Another one. Okay, good one. And you see that it's completely different. When you are in this positioning, you go with the body, the momentum is on this way, you make your split step. If the opponent go on the open, it just, you relance the movement. It's completely different. In the opposite, you go and there is a wrong way, you have to break this momentum and then to go. So, little more difficult, okay? Stick, have a drink. So this was this work. So this kind of exercise, before going on tennis, do it a lot just to be sure that the mechanical component and the technique of the steps is good enough. If you ask him to do it, but they don't feel the dissociation from this way, this way, and this way, you are kaput. So we do exactly the same now, but with racket. We work on, we go on this way. Okay, to hit the forehand. And I want you to use a first step. So you go like you did. From this positioning, I want you to stay here. And from this positioning, make a first crossover steps, then making the speed step. Okay? And we go back. We make one, two, just to see for you if it's easy to go to hit. First step, recovering, go back, go back. Just a question. If you play diagonal deep, where is the recovering zone? Yeah, so you see, you start from here because the, the opponent is on the center of the court. You start from here, okay, he move you here. You go deep in diagonal with only one crossover, then split, you are in ready position. If you waste your time in this zone, you are off balance, okay? And to be on the timing, to let you see, I'm waiting for your balls to touch the ground to send the second one. Just to see, okay, for you. Ready? Sure? Now stop, 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 guys. Remember, I say when the ball touches the ground, I go with my ball. So, if you are in this situation and you play a straight forehand and you are lazy, you don't have time to make your first step, the ball is here or here, okay? So I want you to make a deep ball, high enough to have time to accelerate and be ready for the second one, okay? Make it again. Okay. 
Okay, only two, but the goal is to be ready for the second shot in wrong foot. Ready? The guy is ready. Okay, second one for you. I like it. Okay, it's better. The ball is in the air. That's, I ask my players everything. When the ball is in the air, you can't act on the balls, and the opponent can't act on the ball. So this time, it's just the time to say, okay, <laughs> I have to be ready for the next shot. If you use a flat shot, you're dead. If you use a good shot, but you're slightly lazy, you lose the time. So same thing, we go from this, but maybe the second one could be wrong foot or on the backhand side, okay? Okay, you, we start with two shots only. I want you to make, remember, on this zone, you make one, two, and three to make a closed, instead of making one big, two big, and open stance. Okay? Just a matter of pushing the ground. Ready? He uses very well the ground. You have to do it, okay? Poof. Okay, you did better. Four shots in a row, okay? We finish with that. Maybe we can start from this. Why do you have to make this distance? You were here, okay? I see you on this zone instead of this one. I say, okay, tactically open. And now from this zone, you have not to make three, but you do it one, two, three, four. It's normal, but you did a good job. For you? Ready, guy? Push. Push. Okay, you did the job. Okay, have a drink. So all the, the other exercise you see on the, on the screen will be for this afternoon. Okay. So the same thing, if you want to improve the way to make a crossover step, you have to improve the strength you have on this pattern of some movements, okay? This pattern is this one. If I do it in the air, it's this one. But I use the ground to push myself, okay? So it's more of adductor. When you make the split step and you slide, it's more about abductor. So it's completely different. For this game, I saw it everywhere in the world. So I just want you to, we do the, the game, but just focus on what you see on the movement and just be conscious of certain mistakes or no. So the goal, you take a look at your opponent, take a look at him. Here, here, no, no. come here. Take a look at him, okay. At my signal, when I say go, you have to put the ball, change, go as fast as possible on the other one, change. Okay, so there is change of direction. Make another change of direction and then finish your run here. So I will be here, I will be with the first one. Okay? Sure? Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ready? Go! Ah, not bad. Sprint, you have to finish the line. 
Okay, for me it was just the first time to observe. Now I will stay here and to see who is the first one. Go! First one for you. You make the second one on this way. Start from here. Go! Okay. So you know, everybody knows this grill. Is it, is it a good one? If you take a look at the position during change of directions, it, it doesn't exist in tennis. In tennis, you are never like that to take your ball. Okay, because we say we have to hit, to be stay with the shoulder like that, to move on a crossover step. So this situation doesn't exist. The only way to do it correctly is to do it with this kind of cones. Why? Because with this kind of cones, you can load, okay? And from this way, you can stay with the shoulder at this level. Another thing that you do well, you don't do well, when you change the ball. If you change like that, how can you make a crossover step? So to change the direction on this game, I ask you now to go with the inside foot just in front, then to keep the ball with this one, sorry, and then go to make the first step. You see the difference? Okay. When I go from this point, I will try to make my feet here, then take the ball from this positioning and then going, sorry, with this one and then going to move and make exactly the same thing from this positioning. Not that, but instead doing that. Going, doing that. Okay? Do it. Only you. Make the drill. I will make the chrono. When you are ready, uh, you take your ball, you change. When I say go, I go. Yeah. End up. Okay. 430. It's a good thing. You know that you see that the shoulders are now horizontal. There is really a pushing on this leg to go from here. So normally it's closer to the to the tennis. The one. Ready? Sure. Okay, go. Stop, 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 stop. I was sure that you are not ready. If you are like that, hey, ready? It's this. Normally, you have the balls, you are like that when you are ready. Okay? You want a cup of coffee or no? no? Hey, go. Yeah. 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 It's different. You see that you lean a little more. Okay, it's a good thing. We finish with a specific drill. You will be in front of me with your racket on the serve box. So take your racket. Give me one if you have. Do you have some racket for me? Or maybe I use. No. It's Babola. No, c'est Technic Fibre. Okay, je peux. Go. Go, both of you. So this drill is a specific one. So you have to play with your foreign, top spin foreign. You are not allowed to chip, okay? So foreign in this zone, between the lat and the middle, okay? Four times in a row. You start from with the left foot in the hurry. From this positioning, you have to go to hit the balls. Why well, you want open, neutral, but the ball has to go on the area. When the ball is of the racket, you have to go to make the change of direction. If you shit by doing that, zero. If you are able to make this four times in a row, you make one point. Yeah? So it will be easy first, but after. <laughs> easy on the first, and after, you will see it will be complicated. 
So we'll see this drill. I like this drill because <laughs> if you anticipate the recovery, you are not precise. So you have to take time to be first precise, and after moving fast, recovering fast. <laughs> Allez, orange. Yeah. Ready, guy? Yeah. One. Two. I push on the ground. Three. And four. One point for you. I push on the ground. Push. Out. It's exactly what we see every time. You want to recover before hitting the balls. The ball is out. So one, zero, the first two, three points. Yeah. Yeah, two. Three, I will accelerate. Nothing to do with you, two. Yeah. Go, take your time, and then go fast. Take your time, and fast. Take your time. Okay, two one. You win this point, you win the match. Two, three, and because you are a good guy, ah no. Two one. Ready? Yeah, one and go. I use the ground. Three, use the ground. Out. The last one, you did exactly the same thing. Ready to win? One. A hey. little further for you. Go, 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 go. Easy one. Hey, go, 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 go. Okay. Good job, guy. It's good for your legs? Yeah. Yeah? Fine? Sure. You come from this way. Put your racket down. Just the last exercise, just for the coaches to understand what is the reason. You see that? Every time I ask them, I say, push. So you push, then you slow. You push, then you slow. That tennis is always, I accelerate, then I decelerate, I accelerate. So you will make this drill that everybody knows, D8, turning around, you know? So I want you to, uh, to go as fast as possible. You start from here, okay? And you have to go from here, stay facing the net. Okay? Two times in a row, always with the shoulder facing the net. Show me. You can start from here, yeah, and do, do that. And the last one, when you finish here, you go straight away. Okay, good one for you. Yeah. Okay, so you, you will do it, exactly the same thing you work. I want you, for the first one, to go here with the first crossover step. From this, you go fast enough to be here, then you use shuffle to decelerate, to take your split step, and then to go. Pop, 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 split step, and time to go. Pop, pop, split step. Crossover, you see? I have small legs, okay? I can make one crossover. So crossover very quick, shuffles, split step, and you push. There you go. Puff. Yeah. Puff. Yeah. Puff. That's rhythm. That's rhythm. Tennis rhythm. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Puff. Split. Push. No. Stop. When you are here, if you make your split, you are here, and you don't stop, you can't push the ground. If you are like that, so do it again from here. Crossover. Four. Okay. Split. Stop. Split is like that. And then you go. Another one. Cross. Pop up. Split. Cross. Pop up. 
uh, it's completely different. You see, it's small details, but that is tennis. When you start to make the eight <laughs> like that, it's marathon. For me, it's only marathon. So just make the impulse, okay? So thanks for you, thanks for him. You can applause. <laughs>